Okay, welcome back everybody. I'm gonna answer a question that came up uh, in reference to a caliber. And the question was asking whether uh, the per whether the Blazer rifle was a long action or a short action, because the person was debating, I guess, 6.5 Creedmoor versus uh, 6.5 Swede. So 6.5 by 55, I think is what Swede is. So I don't know what Creedmoor is, the actual number is. So, but um, the short answer is yes. It is both a short action and a long action, or you could say it doesn't really count. That's one of the advantages to the Blazer system. So uh, the throw is essentially the same. It doesn't matter how long or how short the round is. Let me get a little, little pointer out here. It doesn't matter how long or how short the round is because you can reconfigure, you, when you change case head sizes, you can change your bolt heads and that bolt head can sit more forward or more back. Uh, also, as a, as a clue, uh, well, I'll address the, the, the long rifle rimfire in a minute. And then also the inserts for the magazines uh, for different length cartridges. But basically, the short answer is, the short answer is the throw is always the same. So now I guess the, the, the next question is going to come up in reference to long action or short action. Uh, why would somebody want a long action for a short action? I'm not a, I don't build guns, but I've always heard this, that some people, if you're really into hyper accuracy, at least factory actions, a longer action can have more flex in it than a shorter action, maybe because a shorter action might be more rigid. Now that can be addressed obviously with some of the, the custom actions that you can get today, but neither here nor there, the, uh, the blazer, when you're cycling the action, the throw is the same. So whether I'm shooting 6.5 Swede, I can still shoot this and not have to lift my face off the rifle to, show, to cycle the action. So the advantage or disadvantage of short action versus long action as far as uh, building a cheek weld or your position, your final shooting position behind the rifle is moot because this gun, it doesn't matter. So if you're somebody who is sitting around and you're thinking, well, uh, six, uh, six, five Creedmoor is a little bit more forgiving for position shooting with a short action, but you're sitting on mounds of a six, five Swede for some reason, just go ahead and get the Blazer and six, five Swede. You won't, it won't make any difference at all. Now, special note, obviously for rim fire, you would not want to have to throw the bolt. Let's get it closer. Have to throw the bolt that far. Um, I don't have the rim fire kit, the 22 rim fire kit for the Blaz for the R8 myself, but I have seen, I'll go ahead and show it in here, the, the rimfire kit from Blazer actually presents the round very far forward, it sits up here, and I believe there is a stop in, uh, in, the, in the bolt head setup, so basically when you're running the rimfire, the throw's only that far. So any, with, any of you who have the 22 rimfire kit can confirm that with the Blazer, but that's my understanding. But obviously I have a lot of experience with the other standard calibers, Magnum calibers. The doesn't make any difference as far as how far you throw the bolt. The gun can absorb it all because inherently, because the Blazer doesn't have a traditional action, the action is so much shorter than a turn bolt that the throw is a non-issue. So question asked, question answered. Hopefully this helps. If you want to see any more stories or pictures or links of this kind of stuff or the Blazer R8, please go to the website at john1911.com. That's J-O-H-N-1911.com. Remember, it's all about shooting guns and having fun. Everybody, have a good day.